Good morning, my friends. It's a blessing to be with you. Um, whether you're new today or been here a while, I need to take time to uh, share with you a couple things uh, before we start with the worship this morning. You know, it's amazing to me that I've been here six months now. And because of COVID, there are many of you that I haven't met yet. And one day when we gather together, it will be a great blessing to me to get to know many of you as possible. The reason I am taking time before our worship to talk to you is to keep you updated about how we are moving forward here at Grace Church and Ministry. Uh, you might remember it in December, I said to you that uh, when we were stopping in-person worship, we would reevaluate uh, that decision the second uh, Sunday of January, and here we are. And so it's important that I keep you uh, updated. This past Tuesday, our council, the TLC, gathered together and made a decision after reviewing the statistics of the, the COVID virus in our area that indeed we need to stay, uh, stay um, on virtual uh, for a, at least a few more weeks. While there are hopeful signs, we're not quite where we need to be. Now, um, in, in conversation, the TLC looked ahead and we felt pretty confident that where things were going, that we uh, can make a plan to be back in worship, inside, on site, on Sunday, February 21st, all three services for the first Sunday of Lent. I know many of you have been looking forward to this opportunity, and so have I. I can't wait to worship with you again. Now, please know we will always continue to have live stream services, and they will continue for indefinitely. So if that is where your journey is right now, nothing will change whatsoever, and we're glad that you're part of it. Um, you may have uh, noticed that during our our time, these worships while I've been here, we've not been taking formal offerings. Um, the reason for that is um, we want to minimize contact. But I thought to myself as I was praying for the church and praying for the people, you know, I haven't really taken the time to thank you for all those things that you have offered in faithfulness to Jesus and the ministry of Grace Church. Your prayers have lifted us, and we've needed all of them. You're willing to adapt in time, and the way we do things has made ministry possible, some in very creative ways. And as always, your giving of your tithes and offerings have kept ministry possible even though I don't mention it every week, please know that indeed I am thankful for all that you do from the bottom of my heart. We will be gathering soon and um, we will be having the same safety protocols and uh, we will do all those things to err on the side of caution. But I do believe we're back on the journey we need to go. As I close, I can't help but think of Jesus' words to Thomas. Blessed are those who believe when they cannot see. If there's anything that COVID has brought to us in our midst, it is that the future's murky. And yet many of you have believed. You believed in Jesus his good news, his ministry. You've believed in Grace Church, who we are and what God has asked us to be. And even though you have not seen certain things that you always saw, you said, I believe. And for that, God has blessed you. And I believe more importantly, made you a blessing to all of us. My friends, this is what I wanted to share, but I look forward 
to you and I and all of us being together again. Peace with you, my friends, and all that you love. Amen.